GNS3 have released a Windows appliance. A lot of you liked the fact that GNS3 released an appliance for Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7. It's now very easy to run a Windows appliance directly on the GNS3 VM. A number of you asked, however, if it's possible to get a server appliance. Now, thanks to the hard work of the GNS3 community, and specifically Undrush in this case, we now have both a Windows appliance as well as a Windows server appliance available through GNS3. Please join me in thanking Andrush and all the other people in the GNS3 community that help improve GNS3 every day. Thank you, Andrush. To download the appliance, go to the GNS3 Marketplace, click Appliances, and search for Windows. We now have both a Windows appliance as well as a Windows Server appliance. So in this example, I'm gonna download the Windows Server Appliance to my local computer. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta one on a Mac. But the same process could be used on Windows or Linux. Go to File, Import Appliance, navigate to your downloads directory and select the Windows Server GNS3 Appliance and click Open. An overview of the appliance displays. This is a Microsoft Windows Server appliance. KVM is required, which means that you need to be running the GNS3 VM in a VMware product. In my example, I'm using VMware Fusion, but on Windows, as an example, you could be using VMware Workstation. VirtualBox is not supported because it doesn't support nested virtualization. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna run the appliance on the GNS3 VM and click Next. Server requirements are okay, click Next. In this example, I'm gonna download Windows 2016, which means that I require the QCOW2 file, which is currently missing, as well as the Windows 2016 ISO file, which is also currently missing. So I'm gonna click on the QCOW2 file and click download. That takes me to sourceforge.net and the file is automatically downloaded. So if I click refresh, notice the QCOW2 file is found, but the ISO is not found. So I'm gonna select the ISO and click download. I'm told that I'll be redirected to the vendor's website. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm taken to the Microsoft website to download a Windows Server evaluation. Now in this example, I need to register to download the ISO. So either a login with your Windows account or register to download the ISO. So I'm simply gonna fill in my details and click continue to download the ISO file. So make sure that you download the ISO for the relevant language that you wanna use. So that file is now being downloaded. This is a free 180 day evaluation of Windows Server 2016. You'll need to back up your data because after 180 days, you'll need to recreate the Windows Server virtual machine once your evaluation expires. So use Dropbox or something else to back up your data. So in this example, the file is downloading. It's a very large file. It's about seven gig. So depending on your internet speeds, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause the video at this point and I'll resume it once the file is downloaded. 
Okay, so the ISO has downloaded. Previously, the files were missing. I'm gonna click refresh in the Genius 3 GUI. Genius 3 tries to find the file. That's now been found. So the Windows Server 2016 is now ready to be installed. Both the QCOW2 file as well as the ISO have been found. If these files are not found, click Import and Browse to where you've got the files downloaded. So what I'll do now is click Next. I'm asked, would you like to install Windows Server version 2016? And I'm gonna say yes. The file is now uploaded to the Genius 3 VM. Now it's an ISO file that's large. So depending on the speed of your computer, it may take it a while to upload the ISO file to the Genius 3 VM. So simply wait for the file to upload. The file has now successfully uploaded, so I'm gonna click Next. A summary is displayed showing us the adapter type used by the Windows VM. Number of adapters, amount of RAM allocated, console type is gonna be VNC, and again, KVM is required, which essentially means that nested virtualization is required, which means that you need a VMware product. I'm gonna click Next. We're told that the appliance will be available in the guest category. I'm gonna click Finish. Windows Server 2016 is now installed. So under End Devices, Installed Appliances, I now have Windows Server 2016, which I'll drag to the workspace. If you have a problem with a missing ISO file, delete the template and re-import it. So my Genius 3 Windows Server is now available. I'll start it up and open up a console to the server. This is gonna be using VNC. So on a Mac, I'm using chicken of the VNC to access the QMU device. So as you can see, Windows is loading files. Unlike the Windows appliance, which is a pre-built VMDK file, the Windows Server appliance uses an ISO. So you have to install the Windows Server. So while that's being set up, I'll drag an Ethernet switch to the workspace, and I'll drag a NAT cloud to the workspace. These are not required, but I'm gonna use them so that I have internet access. So we asked which version do we wanna use? Standard evaluation, data center evaluation, and so forth. I'm gonna go with the standard version and click next. Now you may have a problem with the mouse response not being very good. That's typical until you've loaded additional drivers. So expect that your mouse movements aren't that good. But what I'm gonna simply do here is install Windows as you would normally. I'll speed up the installation process. So Windows has now installed features, it's installed updates. Windows now needs to restart to continue the installation process. It's getting ready, and it's restarting. We're told that we need to, to set a password before we log in. So I'm gonna set a new password. Password has been changed. So I can now log in to the server. And as an example, if I type ipconfig, I can see the IP address of the server. And what I should be able to do now is ping google.com, which I'm able to do. 
So I was able to successfully install Windows 2016 within GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.